Hello ladies and gents, I'm Zephyr Victorious and welcome back to Writers. So, uh, where we left off, aka where things happened, <laughs> uh, we were, um, we just finished off that last day. So let's see what there is to see. Notes. April 25th, 1992. We just finished the first interview. We talked all day and I've made countless notes, but I wasn't able to direct the conversation the way I planned. Every time I wanted to talk to talk about Professor Kruger, he blocked. Maybe he just wants to test me and strain my patience? Perhaps he talks about Kruger when I don't put him under pressure. Okay. Uh, there's no next. So That was from the day before then, I guess. Um... Oh, whoops. I only get to look at the notes. That's stupid. Um, a book. Aesthetics of casual space-time. That sounds boring. Mr. Moreland's newest pretend scientific work. It deals with quantified beauty. How do you quantify beauty? It's such a subjective thing. Later, it gets even more confusing and drifts off to being completely absurd. Interesting. Among other things, it deals with time traveling by utilizing the human aura. Okay. This sounds like an odd book. Is it a f fiction or supposed to be like researchish? Sebastian Moreland. Air conspiracy theorist pseudoscientist. And a murderer? My report will sort it out. Okay, cool. Uh. Looks like we got everything there. There's the bed, the suitcase. Let's look at the wardrobe, because I actually I don't think anything's changed since the last time that I looked at it. It's a time honored oak cabinet. Okay. Yeah, nothing's changed, so let's leave. Maybe. <laughs> Forgot how um Whoa. Oh no, I don't want to look at the door. I want to use the door. There we go. Did it work? Is my mouse being fickle again? Oh well. So I'm I'm gonna be perfectly honest with you guys. Um, I haven't played this game in a while, partially because uh, my computer's been being stupid, and partially because. Um, Actually, no, it's entirely because my computer was being stupid. So, I don't remember a lot of what's gone on in this game. So, I hope you forgive me for that. There are no pillows on the sofa, and it is coated with a fine layer of dust. That's fun. Seems like it hasn't been used for quite a while. Okay. Um, Inspiring Shemin. Dr. Oz Mysteries. Oh, these dudes have titles? Okay, I don't want to read all those. Uh, let's check out the door. What's the door? Okay, and I just want to let y'all know, the reason that this game is moving kind of choppy is not the game. It's my computer, and I don't know why, because it works fine with most of the games that I play. But apparently with this one, it's just not gonna do it. What's the static for? What the? I, I agree, bud. I don't know what that mean. What that is. What's going on in there? I don't know. Let's find out, shall we? Because I'm, I'm always down with being a nosy Nelly. I don't know what's behind that door. Uh, okay, well then let's use the door and find out. Locked. Is it one of those doors that's it locked once and we'll try again and it's not? Nope. Dang it. Okay. Well then, let's keep moving. I'm assuming we have to go this way? Yeah. I think so. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Okay. We can do this. This game's actually got a really interesting premise, so I'm kind of excited. 
Please be seated, Mr. Faulkner. Oh, we did something yesterday, so today we can start with professional topics. Sorry, I accidentally clicked. I didn't realize that it was going to move on its own. Ooh. Um, as an introduction, I would like to ask the following. What, are you conducting this interview? Have you ever heard of the so-called golden ratio? Um, no, I don't know this topic. I know the golden ratio from your book. Talk about the door down the hall. Uh, I don't want to talk about the door right away. I know the golden ratio from your book. There it occurs, exactly. And yet it is only the starting point. So speak to me, the fundamentals. Oh, so to speak, the fundamentals. You need to understand its inner essence. Then you open up everything else. Uh, what is the inner essence? What inspired you to deal with? Uh... What inspired you to deal with the golden ratio? As you know, I am in the privileged situation to be financially independent. So I can deal with things I find interesting. Well, good for you. I wish I was financially independent. And beautiful aesthetics! Ha! <laughs> this is what the golden ratio is about. Uh, what is the inner essence? Well, I'll try to explain to your measly brain. First of all, the golden ratio expresses a mathematical relationship. 1 to 1.62. This ratio is also called the divine proportion. It can be found in numerous places. In art and architecture, but also in nature. What we perceive as aesthetically often follows the proportions of the golden ratio. For example, divide the body of a man into two parts, mentally. The first part runs from the head to the navel, and has a certain length. The second part, which is longer than the first, runs from the navel to the heels. Okay. I bet you can imagine which mathematical ratio these lengths are related. 1 to 1.62. It's the same with the pillars and the roofs in ancient Greek Parthenon in Athens, for example. or the widths of human incisors. The one in this case always describes the so-called minor. The larger side is called the major. It is truly a divine proportion. What? This is stupid. I've got another question, Mr. Moreland. What is it about? Located in the hallway near my room, there's another door. Yes? Ah! Shoot! What happens behind it? It's just another room. Does anybody stay in there? I'm just- I'm not gonna click. No. There's only books and clutter in this room. May I have the key for the door? What a strange request, Mr. Faulkner. The only thing you would find in there is an inch-thick layer of dust on the furniture. I prefer to keep the key for me, though. I see. Okay. What were your results? With my work, I wanted to overstep bounds. A simple ratio. What is that when you can have so much more? The golden ratio is limited to the three spatial dimensions. I quickly realized that I would never be satisfied by that. But what if I could somehow expand the ratio? Extend it? If I could include time? Oh dear. My work has ultimately shown that it is possible. The aesthetics of casual space-time were born! And we, not, we have only just begun to understand it. You mean that book that I was looking at earlier that didn't make sense? That's the one that you're using to do all this with? That's what you're... That's your research. Cool. That's genius. Mr. Uh, it starts with an M. I can't remember his name, though. Mr. Moreland or something like that. Oh... I'm floating off of my chair. Pretty music. 
I love to come here. Me too. This place is really beautiful. You are the only person I take here with me, you know. In the past, I always came to the cliffs to be alone. To clear my mind. Organize my thoughts. But now, after the two of us came here recently, this has become our commonplace, I think. Uh, I am happy to accompany you. Good for you. Because you won't rid of, get rid of me anytime soon. <laughs> uh, if you like, we could both be silent for a while. Yes. Let's enjoy the view. And only listen to the sound of the sea. I heard a noise. What does the noise mean? What does the noise mean? <laughs> What's the countdown? What's the countdown? It didn't do anything. I'm kind of nervous to do anything to the TV. White noise. No. Dur. Um. It's already turned on. Well, turn it off, you dinkwad. This device plays VHS tapes. Wow, you are a bright one. What is it looking at? What is this, a home movie? A man sits on a chair. Wow. He seems to emit a light. To pulsate. Oh, good. Just, just, just what I wanted. Um, there's nothing else in this room to click on except the door. It's all good. I, I always wanted to look at a weird guy through a TV screen. Don't take that out of context. Um. Hello. A grid? What does this do? There's a grid. Wow. This guy's so observant. It could easily swing the grid to the back. There's a shaft. Okay, let's not go in just yet. What is that? It's a body. What? It's a body. <laughs> it's a body. <laughs> Professor Kruger? What happened here? Open the window. Uh... Uh, wait. This just took a dark turn. I'll be there soon. Don't move. Uh. Uh. The shaft. What? What? I just found a body. There was somebody trying to come in. What is... I'm very confused. Very confused. This game just took an interesting turn that I didn't know that it was going to take. <sighs> what was that? What am I? Was I in like the basement of the house too? I don't remember where I went in the last episode. But my goodness, good night. That actually kind of made my stomach twist a tad. Like, I was nervous. I was very nervous. Very nervous. How many times can I say very nervous before? Um, 
before y'all get the hint that I was very nervous. Ah. Uh. So at the end of the game, is the game over? There's a white box, a bluish box. What am I looking at? If I click on it, sound happens. There's noises. Now it's a triangle. What? I am so confused right now. So confused. It's a pyramid. With a blue side, a gray side, and a red side. And it's just moving? Major, minor... What the heck? What? Uh... I'm I'm insanely confused. I don't know what I'm doing. What even is this supposed to do? It's just turning it. What the heck? Oh, oh. Uh, I did it. I did it. What did I do? What did I do? I'm confused. I, I literally have no idea what's going on right now. I found a dead body and then there's a pyramid and apparently I'm tripping on something. What? Can someone please explain what's going on right now? Because I am legitimately confused. Like, completely legitimately confused. Whoa. Uh, we're back to the stage, okay. And nothing. Oh, drop the curtain. Uh, there's a girl now. Why are they laughing? She just did a pirouette. What the heck just happened? I am so confused. Oh, it was her. Yesterday I submitted a, a part of the script to the editing. Congratulations! So you do make progress again? I think so. After our dinner lately. The next day I finally had the saving idea for a twist in the plot. It went quite good since then. I think... You inspire me. Oh. <laughs> Are you sure that... I mean it. Thank you. 
Nevertheless, it will take some time until the novel is completely finished. Why is that? Characters are very... I'm afraid of how it turns out. I'm afraid it will not end well for some of the characters. Uh, that's a real fear. And writing has become an almost physical experience for me. I nearly experienced the scenes. Sounds thrilling. You definitely have to stay on task. This novel would turn out great for sure. An uneventful night. Yeah, bull crap, I found a dead body. How is it uneventful? Oh. What? Huh? Okay. Well, I'm gonna leave this episode here. Um, I think if I do it every night, it should be good. Um, so... Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like what you saw, please like, comment, subscribe. Um, if you have any game suggestions, I would be down to hearing them. Uh, yeah. So, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.